Right, good afternoon, Olivia team, and welcome to my little workout area. I got the map of the world behind me, very worldly. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to start doing some exercises, some stretches with bands today. So we're going to focus on the upper body, hence why the camera's a little bit higher than usual, and why we're gonna you're going to see more of my body here. So one of the things we're going to need today is a band. I got this one from Amazon, got a pack of five, a duff bunch of different resistances. So you can see the one I'm using is a 20 pound resistance. And if you feel like you need a stronger band, you can definitely attach some together. Some of them have that functionality. Or if you need to, you can get a less strong band with less resistance. I recommend starting lower than if you're feeling comfortable, or you're feeling stretched out, you can go to one with a higher resistance. The important thing to focus on is full range of motion, making sure we're getting the full stretch in. So let's focus on that today. My name is Austin Bork, and thank you for joining us today at Livia. So the first one we're gonna do, we're not gonna use the band for the first couple. We're just gonna warm up just by moving our bodies here. So the first one we're gonna do is our neck here. So we're just gonna do some nice rotations yeah, take it nice and slow. Get the neck loosened up. Oh, it's been a long day, and you and I both need it. Oof, there we go. So we're going to do a few more. If you're able to, get a little bit further in that stretch. Ah, just like that. Try to stretch a little bit further, nice and slow. You don't want to do these too fast. Again, you want to make sure you're getting that stretch in. If you're not getting that stretch, you're not doing the work. All right, two more each side. One. Two, all right, next nice and loose. Next one we're gonna do, some wrist rotations. So what you're gonna do is rotate your wrist back and forth, grab them together, the fingers interlaced, interlocked, and just twist them back and forth. It's been a long day. You've probably been typing, probably been at the computer a lot. Let's go ahead and make sure we get those wrists nice and loosened up, ready to go here. So you wanna make sure you do a couple one way, a couple the other. Again, just getting those muscles nice and loosened up, getting those wrist rolls in. Whew. Here you go. Mm. Feels really good when you do that. All right, and we're good. Whew. All right, next ones we're gonna do is just a few arm rotations. So I'm gonna throw my arms forward just a couple times here. Stretching out the shoulders a little bit, getting them ready to use that band. I'm gonna do 10 this direction and 10 the other. So five, six. Again, you wanna make sure you're getting a nice big rotation. Try to get it bigger and bigger each time. Nine, 10, all right, do 10 the other direction. One, again, try to get your chest nice and big. Try to stretch out that chest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. There we go. So I'm gonna pick out, pick up my uh, band now. And there we go. Got it right here. First thing we're gonna do is called over the top, over the top. So we're gonna go forward and backwards. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your band down around your waist here. You're just gonna be holding, just holding it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna raise it above your head. Try stretching that band out. So you want to try to go as wide as you can. Behind your shoulders, want to make put your chest out, and then back behind your back here. And once behind your back, you're gonna again stretch it out. Try to keep it stretched. Try to keep it stretched. Then back down. And same thing. Try to stretch it. Try to stretch it. Try to stretch it. Get as far back as you can. And relax. So you can see, it's behind my back here. We're gonna go back over. So you can see a little bit better. And 
Ah, that's what we're trying to do. Get that nice stretch in the shoulders here. So we're going to do five more each way. Ah, if you want to make it harder, grab closer and closer into that band here. So if you want to make it easier, grab further apart. That's what's going to make it easier or harder. So I'm grabbing right in the middle because this is a big stretch for me. So that's one. Remember, doing five more. Two. Looking good. Three. There we go. Four. One more. There we go. Five. All right. Feel that in the shoulders. You should. That's got to feel really good. All right. Next one here. We're going to go add an... So we're going to go straight across here our chest. What we're going to do is just pull apart. We're going to try pulling it apart and back in. Again, if you need to, you can go further out on your band and that'll make it easier. If you want to make it harder, grab more in and that'll make it harder. So again, the goal is a full range stretch there. You want to try to get as far as you can in the highest range of motion as possible. This isn't really stretching us out, but this grabbing far out and trying to get as far as we can is getting that stretch. So I'm gonna do eight more here. I encourage you to follow along as best you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. All right, good stretch. I'm gonna grab my little bit of water here. Perfect. Now we're gonna move on to the next one here. So what we're gonna do is now instead of going straight across, we're gonna go at a 45 degree angle here. So same idea, we're gonna pull apart, try to get a nice stretch again across the shoulder and the back. That's what we're aiming for here. And as you push your chest out, that's how you're gonna stretch your chest. So three, two, one, go. There you go. Shooting for 10. Once you do 10, go ahead and switch sides. Again, try and get that full range of motion if you need to. Get further apart. All right, there we go. All right, next one. Other direction. 45 degree angle and start. There you go. All right, 10 each direction. All right, let's move on to the next step here. So what we're gonna do, since we did over the tops, did our straight across, did our 45 degree angles, now it's time to do some torso rotations here. So give our arms a little bit of break, get that upper body a little break. We're gonna start working or out or warming up this midsection here. So what you're gonna do, put your arms up, and you're gonna twist. Now we're making sure we're not you know, swinging our bodies around. We're just letting our torso tell us as far as we're gonna go. So nice, smooth, and controlled. Again, trying to stretch as far as we can, keeping our hips in place. So the only thing moving is our top half. So you can see I'm not moving that far. And most people are not gonna be able to move that far during a torso twist. So you're not moving your hips back and forth. You're not swinging. Nice controlled turn in that upper half of your body. So I'm gonna go a little bit further back. Yeah, don't swing. That's not gonna give you the stretch in that upper body. This, however, reaching as far as you can keeping your hips stable, not moving. The only thing moving is the top half. And that's where you're gonna get that stretch. So five more each direction.
there we go. All right. Next one we're gonna do is again, we're gonna work out those wrists, gonna stretch those out. So I bet you know what's coming up. If you've seen my exercises before, you've seen my stretches before, namaste. So we're gonna get our elbows up, push our palms together, and we're gonna try squeezing. So that's gonna help stretch out those wrists, get them a little more loosened up. If you want to, you can move back and forth a little bit, get a little more pressure one way or the other. If you're feeling like you're not getting that great of a stretch in there, what you can do, you can do reverse namaste. And what that's gonna look like is you're gonna get both arms behind you and do the same thing. Gonna push your elbows, push your shoulder blades together, get your hands together and start pushing. And that's gonna give you a better stretch, a bigger stretch there if the regular namaste isn't working for you. So that's a nice big static stretch there. So as you can see, as always, we don't start out with static stretching. We start out with dynamic movement to get the body warmed up. Then we can move into the static stretching. Whew. All right, feel that. We're gonna be here for 30 more seconds. So get nice and comfortable. Whew. All right. So you can see that, that my shoulder blades are pushed together here. I don't have a a caved in chest. You want your chest nice and strong. You want to show that chest up. There you go. All right, guys, great job. Keep getting that big stretch in. Looking good team. Stop in a little bit here. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. All right, Rever release that namaste nice and slow. Ooh, yeah, there we go. My forearms, my wrists really feel that. Tells me I'm tight and make sure I do this more often. So the next thing we're gonna do is our pull downs. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to pull up and down each direction here. So we're gonna pick up our band again. Is pull up, so it's a more, sorry, got this in the wrong direction. So you can see my hands are pointed in the same direction. So my thumbs are both pointed up and I'm pulling up and down in a straight position as much as possible. Again, try and get that nice big stretch along my back here. You're gonna feel that, and you're also gonna feel it in a little bit in the triceps there. So in the back of the arms. Just like that. Remember, we're trying to get a big range of motion, so try to stretch as far as you can that means you need to grab further apart on your band, go ahead and do so. As you can see, I'm hitting my head a little bit with the band, but that's okay. It means I'm getting a good stretch in. All right, go ahead and switch sides. So instead of my right arm being the top one, my left arm is going to be the top, my right arm is going to be the bottom. Both thumbs are pointed up. And again, we're point, pulling straight down and straight up. And for me to get a better stretch, I'm going to have to grab further apart. And that's okay. A <clears throat> big part of bands too, is you want to make sure when you get into your resting position, that you're not doing too much slack. So that's a good sign that you need to get closer together. If you're getting to the point where you're getting slack and that's normal, you need to grab closer together. Because we're trying to avoid slack. We want that resistance. Okay, now we're good. Gonna rotate that neck. 
Get that looseness in there. There we go. Get those wrists nice and loose. You can roll them around again. So what we're going to do next is called Around the Worlds. So these are my favorite ones, especially for your shoulders. What this is going to do is make sure you're nice and loose around those shoulder blades. So the main thing you want to do, again, we're not doing the swing, the hula hoop looking thing here. When people sometimes do this, what they'll do is they'll hula hoop around. And that's not stretching out your shoulders. So what I want you to do is keep your hips nice and stable. So your hips aren't moving much, and we're not doing this ducking and diving thing. What we're gonna do is your hands are gonna be nice and out, band right around the waist here. We're gonna lift one shoulder up. Shoulder's gonna stretch around. Get that band stretched and back in a resting position, but now the band's behind your back. And what you're gonna do to get the band back in front is you're gonna lift the other shoulder up and around above you again, try not the duck and dive. That's not gonna get your shoulders stretched. There you go, just like that. So we're gonna do that again, 10, about nine more times one direction, nine more times the other. So this might take a little bit to get down and that's okay. We're just, this is just practice. And if you need to, again, you can grab further out in your band. Don't limit yourself just to this part. Limit, do the, use the whole band if you need to. That's what it's there for. Remember, we still want resistance, so we don't want a lot of slack in it. So once you get in the resting position, make sure you got some resistance in there, no slack. Again, beware of the duck and dive. That's not what we're trying to do today. Trying to get those shoulders nice and stretched out. the other side here. All right. Uh, drink of water first. I could really use one. All right. Ready, set, go. Other direction. Again, no ducking and weaving. That's not doing us any good. I'm saying that to remind myself as much as everyone else because it's uh. It's a hard habit to kick sometimes, and you have to talk to yourself and remind yourself, hey, that's not what I'm doing here. That's not what I'm trying to work. That's not what I'm trying to loosen up. That's not what's going to get me better. Doing it properly is what's going to get me better. It goes with a lot of things in life. If you want it done right, sometimes you got to talk to yourself. And just remind yourself, hey, if I want the results, i got to do them right. That goes with me. My shoulders are super tight. If I want them loosened up, I better do around these worlds correctly. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the result I want, which is a nice mobile shoulders. All right. Oh, nice and loosened up. I'm starting to feel that. Oh, there we go. All right, last few minutes here. Next ones we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a bicep hold. So we're gonna use our bands for a little bit of a bicep hold. So if you need smaller bands, go ahead and grab them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step in the middle of this band. And we're just gonna have our elbows into our waist here and gonna hold right here. Just right here for 30 seconds. That's gonna hold, there we go. Okay, nice stretch in your bicep. Try to hold as long as you can. Try to keep your arms at a 90 degree angle here. If you need a break, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and put your arms back down. Take a little break. Bring your arms back up to a 90 degree angle. 
that nice stretch in the bicep. Bicep's got to fight that resistance, so it's going to help stretch them out a little bit here when they got to fight back. That's what your muscles are doing during a stretch. They're fighting back. They want, to, they want to be aggressive. They want to attack, and you're telling them, hey, no, you need to loosen up a little. That's what we're doing here. If you need a rest, go ahead and do so. Lower your arms. There we go. All right. Last one we're gonna do for today is a lat pull down with a band here. So again, getting that nice big stretch, raise this above your head, bring it in if you need to, bring it further apart if you need to. So if you wanna make it harder, more resistance, grab them further in. If you need less resistance, make it a little bit easier, grab further apart, pull down towards your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So that's one, we're gonna do nine more. Two. So I'm gonna let you see what it looks like when I grab, when I pull my shoulder blades together. Three, seven more. All right, two more, eight, nine. Stick your chest out. Ten. Ah, there we go. All right, team. We've got our stretches in for today. Getting you nice and loosened up. Getting ready to go for the next day or recovery for the day after, depending on when you like your stretch days. I love doing them for my recovery, so they're usually my rest days. I'll work out. I'll do my hard workouts every other day. Then I'll have a nice rest day, which will be either stretching or a light cardio activity just to get the body ready for the next workout. So my name is Austin, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us, our team at Livia here, and we look forward to working with you in the next video. Thanks.